Hi, this is Bobby Conway with Cross Examine. To doubt is to be in two minds. That's because doubt splits the mind, leaving one unconvinced of beliefs that used to convince him. That's why doubt is so torturous. It's frankly agonizing. And if you've never been hammered by doubt, I certainly don't wish that upon you or anyone for that matter. Doubt is a straight up doozy, especially when you can't get past your doubts. For some people, doubts come and go, but for others, doubts come and grow. And this is where doubt can really wear the doubter out. As doubts multiply, the doubter can feel like his faith is getting away from him, like his once firm belief is surviving by the flimsy thread of his remaining faith. If you've never heard the agony of a doubter, now is your chance. Several years ago, in fact, back in 2013, I received an email at One Minute Apologist from a teenage girl whom I'll refer to as Jane Doe. Jane was in the final stages of doubt, despair, depression, and darkness. You could sense it all through the tone of her email. Here is what she wrote. Hello, Bobby. My name is Jane Doe. I'm a 17-year-old Christian. I've been a Christian for many years. I've always had God inside of me, keeping me comforted. There's always been that comfort inside of me. But lately, I've been in what I would call a crisis of belief. Lately, I've been having doubts in my head about the Bible and what it says. For example, how is it physically possible for one to rise from the dead? Is it really God or is it all in my head? Why isn't God there to help me when I really need him? Doesn't the Bible have scripture saying that he will help? Sometimes the doubts are statements that electrocute my mind and belief, such as you are wasting your time or you are believing a fantasy and it's only a part of your brain that makes you believe. But it's not like I want to believe these doubts because when I think of them, something burns in my heart and mind. My depression begins to act up badly. Lately, I've had many anxiety attacks about it along with other stress. It's not helpful when atheists surround me in my school too. There really aren't many people I can ask for help. So I'm asking you, what do I do? Because I am scared to say I'm lost. Wow, can you sense her agony, emptiness, confusion? To our listeners, I'd say, perhaps her agony is your agony. Oh, how I wish I could have removed the splinter from Jan's mind and your mind. I wrote to her afterwards, but sadly, I never heard back. Doubt can be hard to shake, especially one, the evil one is behind it. Ambrose Bierce, the late satirist once said, when you doubt, abstain. Don't you wish it was that easy? It's not. That's why we need to remember Jude's words to us. Be merciful to those who doubt. There are lots of other teens out there who are suffocated by doubt with a lack of knowledge on where to turn. At the very least, we can be merciful to those racked by doubt, knowing that they are tortured souls living in two minds and in desperate search of a unified mind once again. For more information on my ministry, be sure to subscribe to my social media handles. And for more videos from Cross Examine instructors, visit www.crossexamine.org.